Okay, so we ran out of battery last night, so we couldn't finish the video. It's actually the next morning right now, but let me tell you guys, Nashville, Broadway Street is so much fun. We all had a great time. I actually prefer it over, over uh, Bourbon Street, and I actually prefer it over the Las Vegas Strip. Yes, anyway, hey, we're way <laughs> off the strip, so. Hello, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off the Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. In this video, we are going to sample some Jack Daniels products at the Jack Daniels Distillery here in Lynchburg, Tennessee. We are somewhere in Tennessee on our way to Lynchburg. We needed to stop by and get a Starbucks or get coffee. We tried to go to McDonald's, but we couldn't find it and got lost. So we saw Starbucks, so that's what we're doing. This is where the water comes from when they make Jack Daniels. Mr. Lynn Motlow. Remember I told you that was Jack's favorite nephew. Now after Prohibition was lifted, this warehouse was built. This is the first warehouse on the property where Jack Daniels whiskey was matured at this location. Okay. Now today, you see it says George Green Barrel House. That was Mr. Nearest Green's eldest son. So in honor of the Green family, we just recently renamed this warehouse too. Now you also have 
barrel charcoal. Okay. So this one's still sweeter, smoother, lighter in color. What I want you to do is go ahead and pick up Oki. Maybe you get a hint of banana. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm getting that mint in the back. That's the cool thing about my job is how I'm getting mint and banana in the back. Still banana. How many do you like this one? How many do you So we're trying a Sinatra. It's definitely more smoky. I don't, I don't know if I like it that much, but. So your next favorite is Key Sponge. They're what we call single barrel whiskey. Single barrel is four proof, 47% alcohol. Cheers and joy. It is creamier. I like this one. Range between about 125 to 140. On average, typically, I've only ever seen up to like 135. This one, to the aroma, butterscotch. To the taste, folks, it's going to warm you up. This one's a whole lot darker. It's bolder, spicy. It's a longer finish, but it bursts in flavor to be such happy. Okay? So this is the barrel trigger. Spicy! It's essentially smooth for a rye whiskey. To the aroma, I get the banana apricot. To the finish, I get lots of spicy things in there. You're good. Y'all need some water? I'm scared of us. My favorite one definitely is the select. It's creamy, it's delicious. What do you think? I like the first one, the gold one. That wasn't gold. That was gentleman's jar. So we just finished the tasting. Man, that was an experience. I loved it. So I am going to buy the single barrel select because it was my favorite at the tasting. It was creamy, it was delicious. And they will engrave my name on the bottle just like they did at Jameson. Okay, so we are just like literally minutes just up the road from the Jack Daniels Distillery where we sampled all those uh, whiskeys and now we're in quote unquote downtown Lynchburg. It's just a little square. It's kind of a cool little town to kind of walk around. We are going to have some lunch really quick at the Caboose right behind me, Caboose Barbecue. And then we'll check out the general store and everything else around this square that they call downtown Lynchburg. So we are at the barbecue caboose. It's so good. I actually prefer it better than peg leg porkers. It's, everything is tender. The ribs are moist. Yesterday's barbecue was mm, a little dry. Um, this, everything here is delicious, you guys. The potato salad, A plus. Pulled pork, A plus. The ribs, Paul? Let me show you. 
it just falls off. Juicy, amazing. And yeah, everything, if the sausage is really good too. Even the sweet tea, best sweet tea I've had on this trip. So come to Barbecue Caboose. It's in downtown Lynchburg. Right, if you're gonna take the Jack Daniels tour, come here, come here. Highly recommend it. If you ever come to Lynchburg, you guys have got to try Barbecue Caboose. It's probably one of the best barbecues I have personally had. Definitely the best bar barbecue I've had here in Tennessee. Um, yeah, highly recommended. What'd you think, Neil? It was really, really good. It made up from last night's um, dinner. So I love this place. I recommend it 100, 100%. I recommend it. Try the ribs. Yes, and the service, the service is Phenomenal. beyond. It's what they call South so Southern hospitality it, in that place. They represent. I mean, the owner came by, shook everyone's hands, the servers super nice i told her that she's probably the best server we've had in tennis she said ah oh, i was having an off day but thank you i was like that was your off day wow <laughs> so anyways definitely come to barbecue caboose cafe So we saw the word winery, so we, of course we had to go check it out and hopefully they have wine tasting, which I know they do because of other YouTube shows that I've watched. They said, check it out. It's like $10 or something like that to sample some wine. So we are at Lynchburg Winery doing a wine tasting. I'm telling you guys, what a golden, this is a gem, uh, a gem of a find. Uh, when you go to Jack Daniels, come to general store, buy a souvenir, go across the street, go to Lynchburg Winery, $5, you get to taste a sample of five different wines, all in ounce form, and you get to keep the glass. So this is our first one, it's a Pinot Grigio. Mm, it smells good, it smells sweet. So Paul and I are having the Merlot. Yes. It's a really good Merlot. It's really fruity, it's kind of sweet. Yeah. It's, it's just it's good. You can really taste the uh, black cherry. Um, right when it touches your tongue, at a bold little taste. That Merlot fireplace, sit in front of that fireplace with your bearskin rug. <laughs> Those vibes. That's not That's a vibes. <laughs> what are you giving me? Chimborson. It's our best-selling dry red. We grow the green spray it locally, so it's going to be smoky, oaky, a little peppery, and it pairs well with steaks and dark chocolate. So if you guys ever make it to Lynchburg Winery, get the 12 because it is some sangria making wine. It's so good. It's sweet. 12% alcohol, which is kind of high for wine, um, but it's Really good. So now we are at the American Craft Distillery. It's next door to the winery. We're gonna try some moonshine. That's how they do in Tennessee. Okay, so we are trying the lemonade moonshine. Not tasting. Did you try it already? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, it's strong, but it tastes like a lemonade. So this is apple pie moonshine. Joe's over there drinking his Bright Zero because he's our DD. It's D and D in his world. In his world, the Dungeons and Dragons. That 
That is McDonald's apple pie. Yeah, that's what I see. Oh my gosh. Oh, you hear that aftertaste? It tastes like a pie straight up. I can't believe how good this is. This is the musk muskashine. What is it? Tastes like wine and warms like shine. It's more shine than wine in this, that's for sure. <laughs> that tastes like a Jolly Rancher to me. Really? Yeah. I'm not a quitter. I'm not going to let you quit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it, it was totally not what I expected. I told you. It's like the thing. I still like... It is candy. I like the Muscashine. Okay. Yeah, Muscashine has actually turned into our number one seller. So here at the American Craft Distillery, you can get really really good old-fashioned made by amber herself say hi amber hi. cheers everyone cheers oh. yeah. all right so awesome amber just hooked it up with some cherries soaking 120 proof moonshine and it grows some hair in your chest for sure. That's right. I'll find that right now. If you right did before, you'll definitely have that. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Paul. It's got a kick. Mm. It's got a kick. It's really good. Okay, so Professor Amber Alert just educated us on why they can sell liquor so in this county it's a dry county they can't sell liquor unless they actually make liquor so everything in here is made by american craft distillery but not the potato chips <laughs> what <laughs> does it work wait Oh my god, you That's what we're drinking. Did you film that? Yeah, 120 proof moonshine. What I just split is what you got. She marinated cherries in here for a week and allowed us to eat the cherries. Now it's a shot. We're gonna take this shot in honor of Amber Alert. <laughs> for Amber Alert! Amber Alert! <laughs> Don't let it sit. Ugh. You don't need a chaser with that. No, oh, that come on. That was amazing. Oh, God. So here in Lynchburg, they have the American Craft Distillery. Oh my gosh, the drinks are great. The bartenders are awesome. They're super friendly, as for Amber. Um, $4, you get to sample four different kinds of moonshine. And I think for $5, you get to sample five different um, liquors, but also, but um, the old fashions are really good. So once you've had your Jack Daniels tasting, you had lunch or dinner at the Caboose Barbecue or Barbecue Caboose, it's time for some ice cream. And Princess Ice Cream Shop here in Innsburg is pretty, pretty cool. The proprietors, um, uh, father and daughter, they're in there, super friendly, as everyone in Lynchburg has been, but the ice cream is really good. I had the Superman, and my cousin Paul had their special chocolate cherry and their whiskey. Yeah, it's a, yeah. the Jack Daniel chocolate cherry milkshake. So good, guys. You can't sleep on it. Have it in a cone, have it in a shake. So good. So we are at the farmhouse having dinner. Uh, we just peeled the uh, vegetable, the grilled vegetables, the spring vegetables, and a salad. Everything was really good. The vegetables were they were cooked, right? They were roasted, roasted, yeah. tossed in olive oil, some herbs like maybe pesto, and then 
a whipped ricotta. It was delicious. And now I'm enjoying a martini. Flavor, crisp, everything. Yeah. Super moist. Cooked to perfection. Seasoned really well too. A plus farmhouse. To try wine that smells like feet. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god, who's this guy? Everyone in Lynchburg has been super nice, except she told us people at the distillery up the road lied to us, liars! They must have been drinking their product too much.